Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another Monday video with me. And the theme for the creative challenge for Lavinia this month is Under the Moonlight. So I've created this card showing the lovely little aerial fairy with one of the hairs from the wild hair set, that's the small set, in the moonlight, under the creeping vine, with this sentiment which is, see a fairy. I'm using the mini star stamp and I've just used the creeping vine set the other way up for the bottom. The colours that I'm going to be using are Versafine Clear Twilight, Chipped Sapphire, and then to create the background, I've used brushos, Lemon and Ultramarine. I am using Watercolour Card. That is the 300 GSM Hot Pressed Watercolour Card. So it's got a slightly smoother surface than usual watercolour card. So, A6 size, we'll get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to spritz the surface of our card with water, a generous amount of water here. And then I'm going to take my little brushes, I'm going to start with lemon, put a tiny bit onto my mat. And I'm going to use my eyedropper. If you don't have one of these, you can just use your spritz bottle there and my number one brush to create a bit of a wash. And I'm going to just go pop that through the center of the card. It doesn't matter if it runs top or bottom because we're going to pop the blue on it and it's all going to blend together to create our little moonlit scene. Ultramarine onto my mat. Again, creating a little pool of water there. Now, this is quite a bright colour. So we're just going to run the brush on the edge of the card and just watch the paint run. Top and bottom. So you can control the way this runs by tilting your card, by adding more water, by adding more paint. So what we want is the bottom to have quite a bit of blue, a bit of dark there, that's the bottom, and then along the top. And we also want some runs through here because I think my idea with this was that the moonlight is filtering through the foliage at the top. So you can see I'm just orienting the card so that it runs beautifully. If you want it darker, you just add more paint or brushos. I say paint interchangeably because brushos are watercolour, powder, paint in a powder form. There we go. I quite like that. Lovely. I am going to dry that off with my heat gun and come back to you. So there we have it, lovely and dry. And you can see we've got these streaks of light coming through what will be our woodland scene. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my stamping platform to ink up my creeping vine. And the reason I'm using my stamping platform as opposed to just stamping it is because it will enable me to position it really well this time. So I want this. That's it. So you can see in this creeping vine, there's a short bit and a long drapey bit but it's not going to extend over the whole length of my card. So I'm going to do it in two hits, but I want this long drapey bit to be this side of the card, and then I'm going to join it up with another long drapey bit on this side of the card. So I'm using Twilight. Of 
me. And then I'm going to take them out of the platform so that I can do the second bit. Now, I went a bit crooked there. Don't know what happened. Must have been thinking about something else. <laughs> it's okay. We will camouflage it with our frame. Now, you do want your stamp to be quite clean before we pop it on here to position it. Now, these probably aren't going to quite join up because I did. Oh, that's oh, masterful. <laughs> Even if I say so myself. So you'll see once we do the blending, we can camouflage that. Um, so there we have it. Now we're going to go in with Ariel, the small Ariel. So the reason that I didn't stamp her first was because I wanted to create this frame. I wanted to see whereabouts we would position her. That was a better solution than stamping her first and then trying to orient the creeping vine around her. Again, for this, I'm going to use my platform just because she's quite a solid image and I want to make sure that on this slightly textured card, it's ever so slight, the texture. I'm going to set her down a bit. There we go. Making sure she's straight. So there is a large aerial, which she is magnificent as well. So this is the small one. Lovely, but just to get it a bit crisper, I'm going to do it again. Fab. And then I'm going to take one of the hairs from the wild hair set, the small set. I just chose one that was facing the fairy and we're going to pop him down over there. Underneath her wand. Like that. Then I'm going to come back in with my creeping vine and create my foliage along the bottom. So many of the foliage stamps you can use hanging down from the top or coming up from the bottom. So as always, we're going to put this at different heights. That just creates this lovely undulating look across the bottom. There we go, we've got this now framed um, woodland scene here. Then I'm going to take my stars, that's the mini stars set, and I'm just going to, still using twilight, so we've only used one colour here. I'm just going to pop some of these stars in and around her wand. And you can see I've done them in a slight not in a straight line. Gives us just a bit of interest. Then I'm going to take my sentiment 
I love this. The script is beautiful on this. Believe in the magic as fairies do. And I'm going to stamp it off once. Oh, there we go. And lastly, I'm going to frame it with chipped sapphire, which is a lovely deep blue. Using my smoothie, and we're going to go all around the edge. Just using my piece of acetate, because as you can see, I've got brush -os on my fingers. And whilst they probably won't transfer, I'd rather not take the chance. So I'm moving my sponge here in a circular motion just to create this dark frame around my card. And there we have it, Ariel in the Moonlight. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to see your makes. Please tag me and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.